What should you do when one partner is in the mood for sex and the other is not? I think you should lend them a hand. Literally lend them a hand and help them out. Or use your own hand DIY. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not willing to help you relax and get in the mood. Okay, so put some effort in. And here's the other option. If you're the one who isn't in the mood, just do it. <laughs> Agreed. Just do it. You can choose to have sex and consent to sex enthusiastically, even if you're not in the mood at first. Yeah. I go, I mean, I'll admit, I go to the gym even when I'm not in the mood to go. Exactly. And do you ever regret it? No, I never regret it. Exactly. So, you can have sex for your partner's pleasure sometimes. It doesn't always have to be about you in a balanced relationship, as long as it's not like that every day. Oh, really? So we're not keeping score anymore? Oh, I win. I, win. <laughs> I know when I'm exhausted, um, but I know that sex will feel good and help us to feel close and relax and have a good night's sleep, especially you. Mm -hmm. I just lie face Don't down, worry. face in the pillow, and I still enjoy it. Yeah, I know that move. Usually, aren't I in that position? <laughs> if only. If only. The point is that discrepancies in desire don't need to be sources of tension or conflict in your relationship. You have a lot of options. 